you um, already started the Rainforest Foundation when you had that ayahuasca experience, or is it kind of like, was that one of the kind inspirations? Of, it kind of uh, happened at this more or less the same time. You know, I, I went to the, the Rainforest before that, before I'd had the ayahuasca experience. But, and I suppose uh, it has informed our work since then. How did you even like find out about it? I think um, about 20 years ago, I was in Brazil and I met somebody uh, in Copacabana. And Judy and I, my wife, we got, got in the back of his car and we mysteriously led out of Rio through the favelas into the jungle. There's a big uh, church and they handed out this brew and Judy and I looked at each other and they were going to everybody drinking it, so we did. I drank it in one. And then, after about 40 minutes, there's something coursing through every cell in my body, like uh, an intelligence searching everything. And I am um, wired to the entire cosmos. <laughs> I, look, I look at the ground and I see a crack in the ground, and then inside that crack there's a little flower growing. And, it's my brother. <laughs> Every, everything. <laughs> and I realize for the first time this is the only genuine religious experience I've ever had. It is communion. It's di direct access to the Godhead, whatever, whatever you think that is. I have no idea what it is, but there is definitely an intelligence, a higher intelligence at work in you during this experience. If there is some